My name is David Feld. I'm a board certified OBGYN for many decades in Palm Beach County, Florida. And we're here to help you along this incredible business. And I want you to meet a dear friend of mine, Dr. David Rosenberg. Hey, I'm David Rosenberg. I'm a family physician in West Palm Beach and been practicing family medicine for 21 years. And David and I are going to go over some um, some questions that we've gotten over the course of the last five or six years. One thing I find, patients will ask me, hey, I don't want to take so many pills. What do you answer them? Every patient has a choice. We all have a choice to take what we want to and what we don't want to. And one of the things that we talk to patients about is what are you taking and is it working? And one of the objections certainly is how many pills am I going to have to take? And the, the reason that we have the number of pills that we have is not to make people have more, more and more problems taking them, but do they work? And one of the reasons that we have so many pills, Dr. Rosenberg will explain even better than anybody can. And what I've found is uh, you have to have a certain amount of nutrients to work. I mean, you're not going to have a meal, uh, a salad that's this big. You have to have a salad that's so big to uh, quench your appetite. With, with pills, you've got to have just so much stuff to be able to get the nutrients you need in a day. And you have to have enough capsules to put them in. So you just need the volume. Having a one multivitamin that's compressed, number one, there's not enough stuff in there for your nutrients for the whole day. And number two, it's compressed. So you need capsules that get dissolved in your stomach easily. And you need several of them in order to get everything you need. And we have many, many different products. The, the premier product that you and I are going to talk about is LifePak Nano. And that has a little sachet that contains, about, that contains seven pills. And those seven pills, as Dr. Rosenberg has explained, have all the nutrients that we need. Now, some patients aren't going to take them, so we have other products that might have one or two or three. And we go from there. The question is, are we getting the job done? And with the help of our biophotonic scanner, we can find out whether it's worth or can you be motivated to be taking those pills. And one of the other things we, we get is, um, you know, it's, it's too expensive. And um, I like to answer, expensive compared to what? Expensive compared to increased risk of diabetes, cancer, stroke. Um, how do you handle that? I love that question because I'll ask a patient right out, how many pills are you taking, and what are you spending? And you'd be amazed, first of all, that 75 to 80 percent of our patients are actually buying different products and they're piecemealing it together. And when we find out that they're spending, whether it's $20 or $250 a month, and again, measuring their nutritional health with the biophotonic scanner and showing that what they're taking isn't getting the job done, I will tell them that that's more expensive than spending the few dollars a day on our products because not only are our products going to work, they're guaranteed to work. You know, if you take our gold standard of the LifePak Nano and you try to reproduce it, you'll spend at least twice as much and you won't get the same quality. And not only won't you get the same quality, we have a monopoly. That little word, nano, is the most important word in nutritional health. That means that our lipid-soluble products are at least five to tenfold more absorbent. So when you buy something else outside of our world, you're going to get a product that isn't complete, that doesn't have all the nutrients and antioxidants and fish oils, and that most of it, I tell my patients, is going to be the three Ps, puked, pooped, or peed. And, and, they, and that leads to, uh, they say, hey, I'm already taking something. And because we can measure it, we can find out whether what they're taking is working. And if it's not, we make a recommendation of something that's higher quality. Yeah, that's the easiest. I'm already taking something. Put your hand on that scanner, and I'll tell you with, if it's what you're doing is getting the job done. Another one is, I have a good diet. Well, how do you know? Well, they might be fit, and that's really exciting. When I talk to my patients and even nutritionists, we want them to be having a good diet. We want them to be 
eating servings of fruits and vegetables. We want them to be easy on the calories and on the carbs. Um, and we have what we call a supplement. It's not a substitute for eating well. It's a supplement. But unfortunately in this country, between 90 and 99 percent of people who reside in our nation need a supplement and we want to get one that works. And the two reasons is, number one, they're either not eating enough fruits and vegetables, or what they're eating is deplete of uh, nutrients. Exactly. And whether they feel fine or not is not a true measurement of health. Believe me, I'd rather feel fine than not fine. And, and it is a good thought that, hey, if you're feeling fine, you're probably okay, but it's not absolute. I mean, there's so many things we measure, right? Blood pressure, heart rate, EKGs that that give us ideas uh, before there's a problem. And the scanner is another way to kind of measure that. Well, I always look at the scanner as the fifth vital sign. And uh, it's, it's a biomarker that I find very significant, very important. And we want to raise that biomarker to the highest extent we can. You know, one, one of the other things I hear is, uh, you know, my, my doctor's having me take a supplement. It has his name on it, so it must be um, substantiated. It must be real. You ever hear that? We hear that all the time, and uh, Dr. Rosenberg and I talk to physicians who are proud of the fact that they brand their products, and I don't know where they get them from, but you know, I don't know if they're making in, in the backyard or in the garage. Uh, I always say, if, if you're taking that supplement, let's go see, let's go next door, let's put your hand in the scanner and see whether the money that you're expending, uh, is, is it worthwhile? Because it's not the name that's important on it, it's the science behind it. And, and I would rather trust our 75 to 100 full-time PhD scientists and 25 years of research that continues than somebody who just puts their name on a, on a product. Another thing I hear is uh, we can't swallow pills, so therefore I don't want to take it. And uh, what I tell my patients is, uh, let me show you how to swallow a pill, because people don't know. Um, you take a pill, put it in your mouth with some warm water, swish it around until it gets kind of a little slippery, tuck your chin, and then swallow. And they say, well, I, I usually take a pill and throw it in the back of my head. And, you know, when I was in training and we intubated patients and put them on a ventilator, we would extend their neck so we'd open the airway. Therefore, the worst thing you can do is extend your neck and you'll aspirate a pill. And I find that when people take warm water, swish it around, and tuck their chin, lights go off and they go, wow, no one ever told me how to do that. And the other option, because some people, it's a psychological thing about taking a pill. So I tell my patients, I never took a pill in my life until six years ago when that scanner showed me I wasn't doing enough. Now I take more pills in the morning than I ever did before and I laugh at myself, but I know that I'm doing something great for my tissues. But if they still can't be motivated by that, we have other things. We have an incredible juice, the super fruit. We have chewables for the kids that many adults take. So there are options. We can get around just about any objection they have. Would you go over some more, some more of those? Okay. Um, I'm on medication, Dr. Rosenberg. Well, I have, um, I have patients that are on several medications and I treat it just like everything else. Are there interactions? Are there problems? Well, a simple thing is that the uh, Life Pack Nano and other Life Pack supplements are nothing more than fruits and vegetables in a capsule. So if there's a reason that you shouldn't have fruits and vegetables, there's a reason you shouldn't have the Life Pack Nano. <laughs> well said. I, 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 we do get that all the time. Um, my doctor doesn't want me to take anything else. I said, would your doctor say, don't eat a healthy serving of fruits and vegetables every day? My doctor said I don't need vitamins, Dr. Rosenberg. Well, um, how do they know that? Uh, if you walked into your doctor's office and they said your blood pressure is fine without measuring it, I'd consider that uh, the reason to go see someone else. So I think measuring antioxidants, you need to do it objectively. You can do it with blood, which takes uh, two weeks, costs a whole lot more, and isn't as accurate because it's a dynamic measurement, or you can measure the tissue level with a scanner. Scanner. You know, Dr. Rosenberg, um, are you making any money on this? 
Well, uh, that's a, another good question, and I answer them, yes, I get a 5% override in everything that I move through my practice, and I think that's reasonable because I have overhead, and you know, they usually find nothing wrong with that. Just like I make money on giving them advice. I'm in this as a business. I enjoy the passion of medicine, but it's definitely about being able to make a profit so I can keep the lights on. The other thing that I tell my patients is I'm really proud that I got involved to do this because I found that I'm saving my patients money by taking their spending habits from something that doesn't work as well to something that's effective and that's something that's guaranteed. I feel very strong about that. The other thing that I feel very strong about is not only are the products out there not doing the job they're supposed to be doing, but they're harmful. They have abnormal levels of selenium or arsenic or lead. And so not only are we doing the good, we have none of the bad. Uh, sometimes you'll hear, you know, my physical and my blood work was normal. Why do I need to take something? And I say that's, that's another biomarker. We want your blood pressure to be good. We want your blood work to be fine. We want to ensure that that's going to continue. And what I have found in my experience with nutrition, and this is what we're talking about, nutrition, is the better the nutrition, the better the chance that you're not going to need medicines for diabetes or cancer or hypertension or bad cholesterol. Well, yeah, 80% of all the chronic illnesses out there are avoidable through lifestyle, diet, exercise, weight management, all those risk factors. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes I hear, um, well, I don't believe in vitamins. I don't think they work. How do you answer that? I agree with that. I don't believe in vitamins either. And we're not here to sell them vitamins. We're here to prescribe a multi-nutritional program that gets absorbed and that can be followed we can take a baseline study and in 60 days we can guarantee that the nutritional health is going to improve not with vitamins but with the network of over 60 to 90 products that are nano absorbed. And you know as far as belief I have a hard time believing things without proof so the literature is out there there's hundreds of thousands of articles on antioxidants and Know, maybe a 10 to 1 ratio of good versus bad, and there's always going to be good and bad for everything. It's a matter of looking into it and reading it and really making a conclusion that's valid. Um, you know, I don't want to buy from my doctor. Um, he's making money off me. I guess we went over that. Right. Good. I don't believe in the scanner, Dr. Rosenberg. That's the, what's that gimmick you got? Well, the, um, the scanner is a... Um, a device that's based on science and the science is necessary for me to validate what it is because without the science I wouldn't believe it either so the science is based on uh, uh, macular, de macular degeneration research that was done at the University of Utah 10-15 years ago and and they did lots of studies even presently on that in many institutions they took that science and they saw that, hey, there was a correlation between the, the scanner score in your palm and the retina in the back of your eye. And, and then we knew that, that you could have a more convenient study in your hand. Why hit you know, the back of your eye? It's a lot harder to do. And you know, the papers and the literature speak for itself. And we've got all that stuff that you can read over. I always tell the patients the scanner is real and it had absolutely nothing to do with selling vitamins. It had everything to do with research and we've corroborated it in multi-level studies and um, if they do their homework then they'll understand what we're doing. But if you don't believe in something then you do your due diligence and if you still don't want to do, do, do your due diligence then you're never going to believe in it. Um, if I put this program in my practice, Dr. Rosenberg, how am I going to not interrupt, interrupt patients? Well, let's, um, hold on. Oh, yeah. Right.